Hi everybody, I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving and we did here. Um, uh, I know a lot of people do Black Friday shopping. I actually do too. And it's really mostly for the doll, the Danes, I don't want to say the D word. Um, I mostly do Black Friday shopping for the Danes. Um, I do, I've been doing more online. I don't think I actually went out. Um, I don't have that craze for Black Friday shopping anymore now that I don't have small children. But I did have a couple of scores for Black Friday. And um, I guess I'll share with you. I always, we shop a lot through Chewy. And we bought, they had a bunch of half off toys. So we stocked up on that because we do toys for our puppy packs. And we always do like medium sized toys. Um, we have a bigger breed, so we send medium-sized toys home with the puppies, so I was pretty happy with that. Um, I also, um, Vihu, the new uh, vendor that I've been using for bedding, had a nice Black Friday um, sale too. I needed to buy a replacement bed for Francesca. She chewed through hers, scratched through it. She had a good time. Diesel's a chewer too. That's her dad, and I replaced his. Um, with, he has a Karanda bed, Karanda, and actually I always like, you know, advise people to buy those beds and they were so great and they are a great bed, but because of the metal shortage, we couldn't get those. So I tried this new brand, the Who, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And I absolutely love their beds even better than the Karanda beds. Um, they're more affordable. Um, their sizing is simple to remember, um, with like diesel, I had to reorder a replacement for his bed. I ordered the wrong size because it's all with measurements. It's not small, medium, large, extra large, like Vihu is. So just ordering Cheska's replacement was super easy. And I actually went on their web and ordered it and not through Amazon. And they have tons of colors to choose from, which I love that. Um, and then I ordered another bed for Mr. Farley. Um, and even the beds were, they had a 30% off. Um, so honestly, the replacements are super cheap in comparison to Karanda beds. So, and with the Black Friday sale, I believe I paid under $15 for her replacement for extra large bed. So because I was on there, I did order um, Farley a big bed. Farley hadn't used his bed in the past, but I'm thinking, well, I'm gonna get one and put it in there and see if he uses it or not anyway. So um, it came in super fast too. Um, I ordered those on Cyber Monday and they all came in by, the, by that week. So um, those are the good Black Friday deals that I've, that I have. I noticed they don't have, um, I used to wait for the Black Friday sales on the dog food, but they, For Health has not had any sales on their dog food since basically this pandemic. Um, so we have not been able to hit anything for that. So with that being said, I don't even um, go to Tractor Supply anymore for their food. I order it online and I have a truck delivers a pallet of dog food here for us and that's how I've been doing it the last few times. It's easier and if I'm not going to save money anyway, why would I bother going into the store when I can have it delivered to the house for free? Because if you buy over so many, is it over $50 or something? And we know one bag is about I think close to $50. So we do it that way. So those are the things that I normally look for forward to for Black Friday. Um, I did order some other things for my family, but I was mostly excited about, you know, Chewy having a good um, a sale and then, you know, the Vihu beds being on sale. So that made my day. So they had a 30% off. Um, and um, I'll show you in the video, not, uh, Cheska's and Farley's new bed so you can see but honestly and they have like grippers on the bottom so it doesn't scratch up your floor so I like that too so those are the the things that I look forward to so um I did mention in the video I do mention in the video about um you know going for breedings with this week would be with Nala 
and Hurley, and then Ebby's soon to follow after. She's in heat too, and we're going to try to breed her with Hurley. This will be their first time. Um, so we should see some colors from Ebby that we've never seen because Hurley and her both carry specific colors that her and um, past studs don't carry. So we should see some blues from Ebby. So that is yet to come, so I won't really talk too much about that. But Nala is being bred this week. Um, you know, we're, we're working on that. And then just dealing with, you know, our puppies coming along and um, getting outside stuff complete. Um, I did get my chicken area complete, and I'll probably share that in an upcoming video because this one might be too long to do it. But I'm really excited about how well that came out, and um, I hope you guys have had a good Thanksgiving and have a good upcoming week. Thanks for watching. So this is Farley's bed. I got done in... This is the place, if you guys are interested. That's where I ordered these ones from. And then they even have a one year replacement and stuff for like something fails. And they give you extra screws and bolts, which most companies don't. What do you think, Eve? So this is an aluminum too, just like the Caranda beds. Caranda beds, they're aluminum. So I like these better. So, I mean, I would be a good judge of it. I have nine Great Danes. <laughs> so, we've had both beds. I'm telling you, this is a better one for your dollar. Uh, it's bigger. And it's sturdy. But this one's Fars. We'll see how he likes it. And with Fiona's help, we got it together. Look how big that is. So, we got Cheska Pink. So, when I ordered this... The first time I did Amazon and it was just basic colors. Well, when I went on to order another bed for one of our gang, um, they had a bunch of colors. So, I mean, girl power, pink, Jessica. We'll see how long this one lasts her. But honestly, under 15 bucks for a replacement. You can't beat that. And I mean, you don't feel so bad about it if they chew them because it's specific sizes. This is the extra large. And it's actually bigger than the Corunda beds that I have. Um, it's a lot bigger. So if you guys are looking for beds for your Danes, I would get one of these. What do you think, Fiona? She, she concurs. She said, oh God, mom's got something. Look. Diva, that's yours, Gooba. Oh yeah, she said, thanks, mom. Challenge accepted? Yep. Let's not chew this one up too soon, okay? We just got that one in the mail. She's a pretty girl. So we're over at Lexi's house today. We're actually here for a breeding with Nala. So Nala and Hurley are outside frolicking while we're in. I just thought I'd check in on the puppies while I'm here and give you guys a little update. So here they are. Mama Lexi with all her little crew. Look how big they've gotten. Oh my gosh, you got some beautiful puppies. Well, that little Meryl really sticks out with his, um, with, his with the fawn Merrells. Oh, oh there's a, look at this little guy. He screamed right underneath her to get little. him. Matt, uh, Dexter, yeah, he's a, he's a bit of a beast. <laughs> Your eyes, yeah, her eyes are opening. Nova's. Oh yeah, I see him. They pretty much all are. They'll be two yeah, in, two, in, a few in a few days. That's usually... I don't think his are. Who's an EQ? Oh my god. Yeah. No, it's just no. sleeping. He made he made his way underneath his mom to get he's the only one on the T. It's Dexter. He is huge. I told you he was. <laughs> I know, but in person he's like double the size of everyone. The else. littlest ones. Yeah. She said, Well mine's okay, my boy. But I know most of these, the fawn Merrells, are their little eyes are opening. I don't Tired. Think these are. This is Scooby. Usually, right after they hit the two week mark, they start all popping open. Sometimes you'll have one that's a little bit later, some that are a little bit earlier, but. Yeah, I saw Peyton's mom was saying how she remembers Peyton's eyes open last. <laughs> but you can see his little nose is mostly black now. Oh, yeah. Pink noses never really stay. 
No. Unless they're Harlequin, even then they pretty much don't. They all fill in black. Yeah, Lexi's nose is all black, but her nostrils are nice and pink. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Oh, they all found their mummy. So we gotta come over here. They're up and moving really well. Probably because they're not oversized. She's so attentive, huh? You said you good mama, Lex. Well, she was just trying to leave the room. Oh, his eyes are open. I just saw a little speck of it. Oh, look at his spotted toes. <laughs> yeah, his eyes. Actually, it looks like his eyes are open the most. He's cute. Tolly. What's his name? Oh, good luck remembering that. I mispronounced Holly. it the first time. Oh, I would too. I said Thule. Apparently they they have a Thule though. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Very cheap, A little cute. guy. He's tired. Oh, did you see this eye? It's really open. Yeah. He doesn't sit still long enough, so. No, none of them do. Well, hi, Lexi Lou. She said, what are you doing That's why here? last time the other photos were with them all together. Yeah, it's easier that way, I guess. Look at this little guy. I can't believe how much that little brindle sticks out. Next to all these little fawns. It just shows you sometimes you can't really tell until you have them like side by side. Unless you really know the colors. Yeah. You could tell, or I could tell when they were born they were fawn murals. <laughs> Debo's making his way in. Debo. It goes underneath that. They're smart. They go I underneath know him. Oh, that's... Yeah. Debo. Oh, she said I gotta sprawl out because these kids. <laughs> she was curled right up, but they made their way right to her, huh? Yeah. Geesh, they're good latchers. I mean, they all found their way over to her. She's doing really good with them. They really yeah, are you can pumping tell up. Yeah, getting older because they're starting to poop more too. Yeah. Is she good about taking care of it? She's pretty good, but sometimes you'll come in and there's poop on someone's head. Yeah, <laughs> that happens. They do. I mean. There's nine they're, of them, so she can't. Yeah, keep and they're gonna, poop. and they're gonna poop on each other. I mean, that's kind of normal, or they'll get in it. It yeah, happens. Yeah, it's just changing their bedding more frequently. Oh, he sees these little faces, hunting, hunting, hunting. He said, "You good girl, Mama Lex." Hi, Mama Lex. There he is. She's a beautiful girl. Lexi has the coolest eyes too. She's like a speck. She has a speck, yeah. Like her son Hobbs. His are really cool. Yeah, Hobbs is the only Harlequin uh, so far from Lexi. It's a boy and he has like two, both of his eyes are both different colors. He's cool looking. <laughs> Jesus, look at him go. That's one for all. Yeah, free for all. Whoever gets there first. Yeah, there's three of them fighting for one nipple in the front. This one just went, yeah, he's going back and forth looking. That's Scooby. Jeez, um. Wait a minute, where's mom? Get stuff turned around. And his eyes aren't open either, so he's just going off of Sent. smell. Yeah. This little guy managed to get one. There's one like hanging around right here. He's gained the most weight. Oh, really? Out of, yeah. From where he started up. <laughs> There's Athena in the back. Funny, you can tell her apart. Yeah, it's a splotch on her head that does it. The rest of them I couldn't yet. Well, the only two that don't have collars are her and Scooby. Uh -huh. It's a little bit to find them. Well, they're doing good, almost two weeks old. Lexi could care less. <laughs> Seamus just looked up and all the milk just cascade down his face. So let's take a look at the babies while they're eating. So don't mind the mess, because we got wood shavings in the rug, on the floor, everywhere. Cooper's looking at his fresh bedding. Hi, Coop. So these guys are almost six weeks old. Oh, gonna get the ladies' feet. They'll be six <laughs> weeks old on Monday. They are so much fun. I'm going to miss these guys. This is a Victoria trying to get me, and all I can feel is her wet little lips from her milk. Uh, that's Cooper. He's a sweet little thing, too. 
Uh, they're really gotten big. Um, hi, babies. I haven't weighed them yet, but I'm anticipating uh, we'll have some. Well, geez, Cooper was already 11.6 at five weeks. Cooper and Mr. Cullen. He's, a, he's our speckled trout, Cullen. Look at Duke. He's the friendliest little guy you ever could meet. <laughs> I don't know. There's something about little mantles that gets me every time. And he is, he just reminds me so much of um, Motley. <laughs> and this will be my last little fawn mantle, I think, unless their sister Magnolia has some eventually when she decides to have some puppies. But um, these guys are so cute. And if you notice, Shaman hasn't, Seamus hasn't left. He's now drinking down a little bit of formula in the bottom. They get so happy to eat, those little tails go. Thank you, your little wet lips. Look at my pants now. Look at my pants now, Cullen, you sick, you handsome thing. Oh, Cullen. So Cullen got out, he was trying to get over to get a spot. He ended up falling in the dish on his way over. Hi, Coop. Look at that little boy. He's so freaking sweet. And I don't know, Eva's puppies always seem to be the friendliest, most outgoing puppies. They're all licking my feet. That is Victoria having a good old time, trying to get my toes. They're really playful now. They play with toys. So they're eating three times a day um, this, which is Mama's Kibbles with a goat-based formula that I make myself for them. And they've done really good uh, good with it. I thought I'd have like diarrhea because, oh my God, because none of these guys were bottle fed, but nope, transitioned very well. Oh my gosh, this guy has been full of himself the last couple of nights. Yeah. Oh goodness, hi Colin. Hi Colin, you handsome thing, you handsome baby. Even Colin's getting up on his little back legs. So we do have this little guy, Seamus can escape out of the box because he's, um, he likes to eat the most, but he's the most, uh, he's one of the smaller ones. But he's always the first one in the dish and the last one to leave. Like when I came in with it, he saw me, he came right over the edge. Yep, didn't show you handsome thing. Look at him, he's so freaking cute. I just think Eva has the cutest puppies ever. Ouch, I felt that. Oh, that's Victoria. She's full. Of, they've been really spunky lately. They're very happy always to see me, and Mommy still comes up and feeds them. Um, see, he went right back to the dish. Uh, the funny thing is, when their mom comes in, she just stands in there now, and they're so tall they can just like s look up, and there they start drinking. So Colin's gonna try to get into the clean bedding, which I'm probably gonna switch out their bedding tonight. It doesn't really get dirty, but it does get wood shaves all over it. I shake it out. Um, hey, Coop, it's my toes. Um, I shake it out, but it's still, I like to change it out for them. Everybody likes fresh bedding. That's all their other fresh laundry that uh, Victoria's decided to chew on. We gotta go back to that. Cooper's trying to eat Cullen's tail. Are you peeing, Miss Lady? Hey, are you peeing? You just did. You peed on the floor. Goodness. I'm telling everybody how good your potty trains are. But if they're not in the, if they come out um, and they're not in their wood shaving, sometimes they do have accidents because they don't know where to go. But normally when I put them back, when I did come in, they just all kind of woke up out of a deep sleep. Um, so they probably just saw me want to come straight out where normally they'll get up and then go potty and come out. Oh. <laughs> so six weeks they'll be dewormed again. It'll be their second time. I do it at uh, four, six, and eight. I know, look at her. Her tail's going a buck 90 trying to get me. I know some people do it at two weeks. I don't like to because I feel like they're just babies and I'm, I don't want to put that into their system. So that's how I do it. And it's been, it works so they still get three deworming. The last deworming will be at their vet appointment. And all these little babies will be going home right before Christmas. So can you imagine the little kids that live in their homes? Um... I'm wondering, I think maybe they all are going to homes with little kids. I think they are. 
I can't believe Colin can get up in that basket. You are getting your way around, chubby boy. Look at him. He's got to be 10 pounds now. Yeah, I could get in that. Victoria's having a ball trying to get the broom. And Seamus is looking for remnants. Is there anything under there? I hope you're not eating. No. I thought he was eating wood shavings. He's not. He's not stupid. He's hungry. Your mommy will come up and feed you again before we go to bed. Before you go to bed. Yeah, mister. So mommy does still stay with them. If she does go out, um, she definitely, like this morning, she spent last night on the couch where she likes to stay. But she was very adamant about coming in and feeding her children this morning. Look at his little tail go. <laughs> He's so happy. Colin, you're so freaking cute. He has the most unique looking face we ever did see, huh? Yep. Seamus, are you just waiting for seconds? Seamus? Hey! Hey, puppy! Hey, puppy! What was it Colin do? Come on! He's just said I'm not going anywhere. Oh, I guess so. All right, all right, all right. I will, I will. So the other two are having a good old time chewing on a broom over there. <laughs> oh my God, he's lifting his way up. Well, come on, chubby. Hi, chubby boy. Oh, your sister's chewing on my foot. Oh my goodness, your hands are villain. Puppies. This is Cullen. He's giving me smooches. Oh. So, yeah, these guys are always the most sociable puppies. Yes, you're the most sociable puppies. Oh, Colin. You are so, oh my God, he's so excited. And Victoria, sorry with the camera, Victoria's chewing on my feet. Colin's trying to get my face, and he's so wiggly, I don't want him to fall. Colin, you're so sweet. Look at him. Oh my gosh, Colin. Oh, he's nibbling on my earlobe. <laughs> You're so sweet. Oh, I just love you. I just love you, Colin. Your family's gonna love you. Oh my goodness, you like earlobes. You're an earlobe kind of person. Wait till the kids find out you like to chew on earlobes. Wait till they see them. They chew them what she said. Oh my gosh. He's a big puppy. So he's almost six weeks old. Look how big he is on my lap. You're so sweet, Colin. That's what I mean. I'm going to miss these guys. Yes, I'm going to miss you guys. We're going to have other puppies, though. But I will always remember you kids. Going to get down? Oh, no. He's trying to hold himself back up. He said, I wasn't done, lady. I got these other two over here. Busy trying to get in there. Oh, there he goes. And that is their back panel to their front. Duke! Hey! See that little fanny in there? Duke! Wait till he realizes he can't back out. Look at that. He heard me whistle. Come on, Duke! I think he's been in there before. <laughs> oh, Duke. Oh! That would have scared you if he was in there and I did that. So, I try to spend as much time with these guys as I can. Oh, jeez. Victoria's going crazy on... Cullen. I guess she's a boss. Hey, that's not nice, little bully. I mean, we will definitely find out eventually who the bully is now that they're at this age. Um, she's always been quiet, though, kind of independent. Like, she's she wants to bebop around and play versus the boys are wanting attention. Come see what I'm doing. She's more of, I'll do my own thing. Catch up with you when I feel like it. Hi, is your brother chewing on the back of you? Hey, big boy. His little face is so cute. That little speckled face, I just love it. Yes, him is a cute puppy. So I just wondered if we're going to get more food. Hi, Duke. Mr. Duke. What are you doing, little man? Colin's still here. Hi, Colin. And there's Coop. Hi, Coop. Cooper's usually a love bug, too. And uh, you can see Victoria's already over there exploring on her own. Hey, is you chewing on me? Is you chewing on me? 
So that's the update for these little critters. Almost six weeks old. Everybody's doing great. These guys all have homes. They will be going to their new homes the week of Christmas. Lucky families that get to have these little babies under their tree. Who's bullying who under? <laughs> but this is potty training season. Anytime you get potty training, all you do is see wood shavings everywhere. That's why we don't feed them over here because I don't want wood shavings in their food, which they might get a little bit in there anyway just because they're on the floor. I usually have a new towel, shake it out. So, but this is all just from their toes. But, um, oh, these two are playing with the broom. Can I see that old broom? But I try to keep like their wood shavings in the back. And it usually works pretty well and I try to keep their bedding. Victoria, are you doing that to your brother? Yep. So they have like little toys they play with now. I actually came up and saw them playing with their toys. Um, but I don't like to feed them in here because I don't want a bunch of wood shavings, them eating a bunch of wood shavings. And it would happen. It would get in their food. And I use the bigger um, wood shavings. They have um, fine ones you can buy too, but these are the bigger ones. And you can see everybody uses a potty area. They're doing really good. I mean, they do have accidents when they're out here only because um, they're not near their potty area. But normally... Oh my God, Victoria. Normally I'll put them in and they'll just go potty. Are you guys done eating? I usually some boy. Look at him. Get him under the light so your mama can see you better. Oh my gosh. Uh oh, you're going to give me kisses too. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. He's a love bug. His little tail's thumping. I can feel it. Isn't he sweet? He said, I want to play, lady. I don't want to do you. Mwah. All right. Who's next? Oh, oh, this is Victoria. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Victoria. She said, I was playing. I don't want to come see you. Isn't she cute? <laughs> this is Miss Independent. See, she's just wiggling to get down. She doesn't want to pay any attention to me. I'm going to kiss you. Here's Cooper. Hi, Coop. Hey, Coop. Isn't he cute? He is a heavy puppy. He's probably over 12 pounds. What do you think? Thank you. Thank you for the kisses. Thank you for the kisses, Coop. Isn't he sweet? He's a little love bug, too. Who's chewing on my toes? So here's little Cullen getting ready to go. He's a little love bug. Look at him. Chubbiest kid we know. How long he is. He's after my earlobes again. Somebody's having a fit because he knows his pippies. His babies are still out. Is he cute? Yes, that's your sister having a This little man. Isn't he sweet? <laughs> hi, little. Hi, little Duke. This is Duke. He's wagging his little tail. Say hi, little man. Oh, is he going to give a kisses? He's so much lighter than Cooper. Yeah, about a good. So I just put Cullen back in, and look, he's taking a whiz. Good boy, Cullen. All right, kids. I got to clean out your stuff, change out your bedding still. Yep. Yep. They're so cute. What, little man? They're so cute. I'm gonna miss these guys. I think I let every litter I feel like that. Because you're starting to get their little personalities. Alright, so that's the update for these Fantastic Five. That's Victoria, Shaman, Cooper, Duke, Mr. Collins back there. Say goodbye, guys. Till next week.